here we are going to explore the view ribbon tab or menu and the tools that we have in place here now this navigation bar is actually this bar which shows you the core of the steering wheel and time command if you unhide it or if you hide it you press the navigation bar if you want to see this uh, navigation bar just click it again and it will show up same thing with the view cube this is the view cube you can either hide it or unhide it now the edge should be using different view you can have the x and y axis you have the position data and the grid and grid location so you can actually if you want this to be clear you can uncheck this now it's wrong here the position reader and the grid location you can activate it if you want to know your location position and data it's very useful especially for grid line you can see where it is your position x and y axis is quite normal so i think you don't need it and, uh, the position x y position you don't need it position without we might we, it is better to know which level and which grid line we are looking for now a reference view you can set a reference view it will appear on this website here you can set the plan view and you can right click and set lock from top lock from bottom or lock from top let's select it it will transfer to the front view here let's go for bottom and here we go from top normally for plan view we should be looking at the top portion so lock aspect ratio it will some, show like something like this if you don't lock the aspect ratio so let's lock, uh, uh, lock it and basically that's it you can also show some reference section if you have and you can lock the aspect ratio and you can switch between plan and section In my opinion, it's not to. Really, it's a good thing to have, but uh, we don't normally refer to this plan or section views. So I will hide this. I think is it as it is reducing my display area in the monitor. Now you can also show grids. You can show you the grid lines based on the plane or the grid lines on your previous grid lines in the architectural plans which referring to this uh, architectural model so you can hide it so it's not uncluttered and you can also save the mode if you have any floor level you can go above or you can go above and below you can cut from here and you can also cut from all if you have any other floor levels but unfortunately we only have one level so it's shown here and we have all these grids and levels now we can also set it to full screen but just be careful once you set it it's very difficult uh, to, to, to exit from this uh, full screen one uh, right click and here we can actually hide it it's supposed to be here Select anywhere, seeing uh, full screen here. Under the viewport, uncheck the full screen or press F11 so to go back to your uh, current display. You also have this quick view, horizontal and vertical. You can combine horizontal and vertical. You can also be, you can also have a full screen section. To close it, you can actually select this. It. Let's split it. We have more splits. Now to remove all these uh, split view, just exit one by one and you need to select the show toolbar so until you have only one uh, view left. So this is the section and let's go back to our original set. Now the background you can also set. Let's say the color you can set it into brown color with a black and you can also set it into white color set the background to white with a black which is much more nicer 
Again, the size you can set the window size to as a ratio of 500 by 500, or you can make it bigger based on your uh, screen or monitor. So let's go back to this view and let's go back to the agent. Window you can set it here, you can set the flash detecting, it will appear here. Uh, you can also have the animator up here. Once you check all of this, I think it will be all cluttered with your display. So this is just to show any of these commands or uh, menus will be shown here in your display area. So load workspace is also in safe mode, extended and minimal. Uh, save workspace if you want to save this workspace. So that is how to use the view menu and the tools inside it in Madis Work Manage. Thank you.